it is vacuum time. God damn it. Every motherfucking day. Gotta do the vacuums. You get that way small. So here we go. shit right it fucking hurts and it gets you out of breath and that's if you do them fucking right they are a million times harder than they look so if you see I'm breathing hard you see that I have pain in my face because that's just real when you do them right it fucking hurts in order to make the waist fucking smaller it's gonna be fucking painful and it's gonna take work nothing comes easy so that shit hurts and it's hard and that's the only way you're gonna know you're doing it right is if the shit hurts and after, you're out of breath because it fucking takes a lot to hold that shit in the way I'm doing it. So, um, just gotta make sure you're doing the shit right. So, here we go. Wow. Whew, man. So, every day, we gotta do these. So. I start with three sets, and after a week or two, I add a fourth set, a fifth set, you know, and we, we continue to add more. That's the way you do everything, is to continually add more. Because your body gets used to it, you gotta keep doing more. More, 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 more. So, here we go, God damn it, let's do it again. You know, that's always been one of my biggest goals since I started body mind is to have that tiny fucking waist, man. I mean, I remember, again, you guys have heard me say this a million times, the first time I laid eyes on fucking Flex Wheeler, man, after he won the California as a light heavyweight, man, that motherfucker's waist was like this, and his arms were like this. It was unfucking believable and I remember looking and saying, oh my God. God, if I, I mean, the He-Man dolls that I had as a kid, he fucking made look fucking thick-waisted, you know? Unbelievable. I said, fuck. If I can look like anything, that's what I want to look like. Little waist, big-ass, full, round arms and shoulders. I was just like, holy shit. So, uh, that's what I'm trying to attain, man. So, my biggest, my biggest goal is to get my waist down as small as possible right now. That's going to make everything else look even bigger than it is. So, here we go. God damn it, enough talking. Oh, man, out of fucking breath, but yeah, the goal is to get that waist looking same size or maybe even smaller than the arms, so that's the future goal in the next two months. You guys are going to see a huge change in my physique. The waist is going to get smaller. Um, I can't say I'm going to get bigger because that's not the goal, but the illusion of my waist getting smaller is going to look like I got bigger, and that's what bodybuilding is all about. It's about illusion. You know, and so, uh, you know, it's about, you know, how you look. It's not about the scale. It's not about the tape measure. It's about how you look, you know, and that's most important. So, uh, anyway, guys, fucking do not puss out on these vacuums. Do them every fucking day. I'm telling you, it's, it's night and day what these days can do. And I'm telling people these, these, I want to say secrets because no one does this shit. No one talks about it. You don't hear about it. And that's why I think it is a secret because people don't do them. And it just, they, it's amazing what they can help you accomplish by doing these on a regular basis. The vacuums, the theater workouts, it's, it's, I'm telling you, it's unbelievable the results you get. And I'm not getting anything. I'm not selling you a vacuum program. I'm not selling you a feeder workout fucking program. You know what I'm saying? I'm not selling this shit. It's free fucking information. So, Obviously, I get no benefit. I'm just trying to fucking help and teach, show you guys the fucking best possible ways to reach your goals. So just fucking try this shit. Try it out, goddammit. 
Let's do this! What's up? We are on our way to Venice. Third day in the row, goddammit. <laughs> Venice Beach. So we're on our way to Venice, and today is Memorial Day. Happy fucking Memorial Day to everyone out there. I hope you guys are having a great fucking day, but when you watch this video, it's not going to be Memorial Day, so I guess that was kind of a waste. <laughs> More than likely, it'll be like a fucking week later. <laughs> right. I probably shouldn't have said Memorial Day, because then you guys would be like, what took so long to load the goddamn video? Right. <laughs> <laughs> what took a fucking week to fucking get that video up? So, we are on our way to Venice for the bodybuilding show. They have one three times a year on the boardwalk, on the fucking beach. If you guys ever going to come to L.A., I would say that it's, it's a pretty cool fucking thing, you know, because... You're outside, it's fucking sunny, there's hundreds of people, you know, it, it does not cost to fucking watch the show, that's the beauty, that's the best part about it is, um, the promoter does not charge to watch the show, and, um, you know, I don't know if it's because he can't, you know, there's some kind of law that says we're in a public, you know, place, and we're on the beach, and, you know, maybe there's a law that he can't charge, you know, for people to watch, you know, who knows, um, I like to think that it's because, you know, he, he wants to, you know, bring enjoyment and, you know, uh, and, and not, you know, just all about money, you know, because he's making money from the competitors and everything else. But, you know, more than likely, <laughs> it's because he can't. I hate to fucking say it. So hopefully not, though. Um, you know, he's a fucking cool ass dude, Joe. I believe is his name. Joe, what's up, my man? And um, he's been doing this for fucking years. He puts on pilots and meets, puts on all kinds of shit. And, um, you know, it's uh, it's a good time. It's it's a lot more fun than, you know, going to a regular bodybuilding show. Um, so if you guys ever going to come visit L.A., maybe, uh, maybe try to plan your trip around one of these shows because it's actually pretty cool. So and you got Gold's Venice is literally, you know, fucking walking distance from where the show is. So, you know, obviously what we do is we either train and then go watch the show or go watch the show and then train. So, uh, and also the show, this show after Memorial Day is always a really good show. And the reason being is because the California just took place two days ago. So what happens is you have all the guys that were going in the Cal and girls and teenage everyone else who are competing in the Cal and they didn't do as good as they anticipated. So they, you know, they hop in this show, um, you know, to do better because it's a lot smaller show. So this show always has a huge turnout because you have a lot of people from the California coming and doing this show. So it's always, you know, has some pretty stiff competition. And if you're going to ever compete in one of those three shows, this is the fucking toughest one by far. So because of the overflow from the California. So, um, so that's, that's a good thing. Um, a bad thing, though, you know, I got to I gotta point out the good and the, and the bad. You know I got to point out the fucking bad. So the bad part of that, though, is that you have the, the guys that have been training for, let's say, six months that are, you know, amateurs. Like, when I say amateurs, they're amateurs. You know, this is a very, very lower-level amateur show. Um, it's not NPC, so it's not a sanctioned bodybuilding show, you know, so there is no sanction. It's just, it's just the bodybuilding show. Um, so it's very low level. So you have people that are normally just getting into bodybuilding and they want to compete. This is normally the first show that they'll do because, you know, it's a smaller show. It's less competition and, you know, they have a, a better chance of doing well. And so what happens is you have, oh man, I got to get over here. So, so what, what you have is, is you have the guys that have been getting ready, you know, aiming to do this show who are, are really low level amateurs and, you know, are hoping they're going to do well. And then you have the, the guys from the Cal that are much higher level, you know, the California is a pretty big show and they didn't do as well as they anticipated. So then they're like, fuck man, you know what? I'm just going to hop, I'm just going to hop in that finish show. And so I can get a first place trophy, you know? And, redeem myself <laughs> so so you got you got someone who wasn't going to do this show who's getting ready for the cal who's you know um you know who's that caliber which is much higher and since he doesn't do as well as he hoped 
is going to go hop in this show, you know, and easily win because he's overqualified. But then what happens is you're taking the trophy away from the poor guy that is the low-level amateur, you know, that worked hard and really deserves the trophy, you know. So I don't know. I guess there's two ways to look at it, right? So I always, I always feel bad because, you know, the guys that went in the cow, they know that they're above this level. They know that they're better than the show. And then they go hop in just to get a real quick, easy win, you know, for their ego so they can, you know, say they want to show. But, you know, did they really win? I mean, they're way overqualified. So, um, but anyway, just had to point that shit out. I don't know why it's in my head. So, you got two sides. It's a big show because of that, but then you got people stealing other people's trophies. (laughs) But, um, we went to the Cal and... I don't go to the bodybuilding contest that often. I don't really go to the shows. And, um, you know, for one, they're they're really fucking expensive to get in. And I'm not, I mean, I don't want to sound like a fucking, you know, I have money. I don't have a money issue. But honestly, like, for me and Sarah, I think it was, it was, uh, 90 bucks for prejudge. So it's 45 bucks a ticket, you know? And that's just, honestly, that's outrageous. And, you know, we walked in and we were there for 10 minutes, you know, because, we just wanted to see, you know, our uh, athletes compete, and that's pretty much what people go for, is they go to watch, you know, the people they're there to see, um, so, uh, but it was nice, it was good, you know, it's, it's actually really awesome that they have a pro show, you know, they have so many pro shows going on, and they put a pro division at the California, it's fucking awesome, because you could go, you know, watch the pros compete, and this show was super fucking tough. It was a good fucking show. And then I would say, you know, the top 10 guys all looked really good. I mean, everyone looked good, you know, but man, it was, it was, it was a good ass show. And there was some, you know, some, some popular, you know, popular good names in that show. So that was awesome. So, but anyway, guys, so I'm going to finish my fucking breakfast here. I'm eating some steak and some vegetables, steak and vegetables for breakfast, and we're fucking running late, so I know you gotta be at the beach before 9 to get beach parking you get there after 9, forget about it you're not gonna get beach parking, and I already told Sarah, I'm like, I'm not fucking walking 2 miles just to watch this goddamn show, so so we might not fucking make it <laughs> what do you think, babe? hope fast hopefully Hopefully. Hope that we will make it. There's no traffic. I know. So well, that's a good sign, actually. I mean, this freeway is never like this. No. Actually, right here where we're at, see we're coming from Venice Boulevard? Yeah. On the 405? I don't think in my life I've ever seen the freeway this fucking empty. In my entire fucking life. Yeah, that's crazy. Right? This is yeah. crazy. Didn't even, I didn't even realize this right now. I'm like, fuck. We're like fucking hauling ass, doing 95 miles an hour, and there's fucking no traffic. This is awesome. Yeah. Wow. So. So maybe we will make it, goddammit. So I guess we'll go. Oh yeah, go ahead and put it in school. Smart. We have like deep footage, right? Yeah. We're good. How you doing, brother? Good. Good. Long time no see, man. Yeah. Forever. Forever. Gonna recognize you. Still waiting for you to see me. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna come up there. We're gonna start going there. Sure. Uh, cool, brother. We're coming down. I'm coming down. I'm like. Yeah. How you doing? What's up? How's it going? He's manning the booth. What? This show. What? He's manning the booth already. Yeah? How's it going? Yeah, we're getting good turn. Hey, yeah, how you doing? All right. How are those almonds? What? So how are those almonds? Good as fuck. Right? Look, I eat the whole fucking bag. <laughs> it's garbage. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, keto. Keto, you got your almonds, right? Yeah, carb-free. Carbless. Flat. Have you tried the uh, the wasabi soy sauce ones? Oh, they're so good. Oh, they're they're good. Good. Oh, you got the cover on. <laughs> you got the cover. <laughs> All right, this guy, you work out, don't you? you work out for sure. Don't you? A little bit. You know, I prefer golf, but workout's my second favorite. Do you like spin class? Is that your favorite? Yeah, spin class. Yeah, you know, yoga is preferred to spin class school. What's the hardest body part to uh, make lumpy? Uh, wow. You know, everyone has their, their good and their bad. Yeah. So everyone's different. So for me, for me, I would have to say that I was genetically gifted and ah. everything has just came, it came around, man. I don't know. It's so just, I'm screwed, is what you're saying. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, but you know, you got spinning class. <laughs> <laughs> What do you uh, think about this? I've read online this. Uh, hi, how are you? Hello. Are you hey. videotaping me? Look, yeah. It's a double videotape. <laughs> are you competing today? No, no. I'm retired. How do you? What, what do these guys and girls have to do to compete? Like, how difficult is it? You no, know, it depends on on you know what they're willing to put in. You know, is what they're going to get out. So some people, you know, will literally almost kill themselves to win that trophy. And others, you know, do it half ass. I got you. So, but uh, you know, this is a lower level competition. So most of these people are just beginning. Ah, got you. Know, Wet, you know, so I would say it's you know they're not going crazy. They're not killing themselves. What's with the spray tan? You know, it just muscles show better. You know? When they're orange? Yeah, yeah really? I know it's, it's an odd color, but um, normally most contests are in side where the light is really bright. Gotcha. So they don't they're, they're, they look tan, but uh, this contest is one of the few that's outside. So the orange actually probably isn't the best scenario <laughs> in this particular contest. But you know they just continue doing what we do. Which is, you know, so Hey, and no shame in that, right? Own it, right? Yeah. Let me ask you about this. I've read about a, a trend online that's a rip punch for Trump. It's, a, it's a, a bodybuilding movement for Trump. What do you think of that? I haven't heard anything about it. Yeah, I haven't heard anything about it. Yeah, I know nothing. I can't even comment. I know nothing. What do you think about the idea that Bernie Sanders wants to get rid of trophies and keep everything even and a fair playing ground for everybody? Uh, I don't know if I want to go political on this. No, fair enough. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of a, um, a somewhat of a out, out in the public eye. Okay, let me ask you. <laughs> If you were going to send me to the gym, what would you uh, suggest I work on? Obviously, I'm pretty perfect, but what would you suggest? Um, I, w I would say just overall, just everything. You know, you look. You, the, the good thing is that you're symmetrical. Yeah. That means everything's in proportion. Yes. You know? so yes. Thank you for noticing. People really can't look at you and find something negative. They can't say, "Oh, look, he has no legs or he has no legs." Everything's symmetrical. So, believe it or not, that's something you have over a lot of bodybuilders. You know, a lot of them aren't symmetrical. So, you think my symmetry is like one of my selling points? Exactly. Brother, I'm glad I talked to you. Good for myself. <laughs> Thanks a lot for taking the time. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. Sure, sure. Yeah. Can we be like right here? All right, brother. I right, hope you have a good stay. Yeah. Hey, what's up, brother? How you doing, man? Hey. He's from he's from China. Oh, oh he's just here for tea. He's only eighteen. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah. He's a big fan of you. I don't want to take a picture with you. All right, sure. Take a picture. Good. One more, one more. One more? All right, go ahead. Thank you. All right, brother. You ready? And go. We're here at Michael Gage's I want to get the big And then uh, I'll kind of just do a quick little interview type thing. Whoever likes to be Awesome. We have real food coming out in rice. Really? Yeah, in like the next couple weeks. But there you will Thanks, you too. Did you go up yet? Yeah, I already went, so. How'd it go?
there's only two of us. So. Okay, so it went, so you went pretty good. You got these second. <laughs> <laughs> one, one or two ways, yeah. right? All that matters is you got yourself in good yeah, shape. Next, next That's all that matters. Come out even better. So. Okay. Cool. All right, yeah. brother. Cool. All right, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Right on, brother. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Boy. How you doing, man? All right. Awesome. I gotta get up. Now. I gotta get a picture of my boy. Oh, man. Oh, Dude, I love your videos, oh, brother. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Good to see you, man. Well, I'm surprised I didn't get a picture of him. What about nobody else? You know me and Malcolm Michael. That's my boy. But um. Nice. Right on, brother. Good to see you, man. How's it going, man? Looking awesome, brother. How you doing? All right. What's up, brother? How you doing? Good to see you, man. Your, your mom speaks uh, up, speaks up for me. Yeah. On the internet. Oh, yeah. awesome, yeah, awesome. Someone is <laughs> criticizing, <laughs> criticizing me. She yeah. spoke up. Oh, cool, bro. I like Chris Tang. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, yeah. it's good, man. <laughs> so how old are you now, brother? 63 only. 63. Yeah. Right on. Yuri, where is Yuri? <laughs> well, Yuri, you're, 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 you're supposed to take the mixture. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's do it again, man. You got it. Ready? Uh, walk with you more. <laughs> You're holding your own. Don't worry. <laughs> good to see you, man. You're doing good. Keep it up. Thanks a lot, I'm to get to meet this guy. Hey, what's up, brother? How you doing, man? Good. I know. All right, brother. We're going to take off. Hey, it's good. Sorry, man. All right. We'll see you again. All right, we're going to see you as always. All right, man. We just left Venice Beach. Had a great fucking Memorial Day. It was awesome. Met all kinds of cool-ass people. Um, had a good time. Didn't watch any of the show. <laughs> so, um, but, you know, hung out. Um... Now we're heading to North Hollywood Golds to train. It was crazy because Golds Venice is right there. It's like fucking walking distance from where we were. But we knew it was going to be packed. And I probably took about, what, 200 pictures with people? At least. <laughs> so, um, you know, a little tired from taking pictures and answering questions, you know, and talking to people. And, you know, don't get me wrong. I love that shit. But, you know, can only, you know, take so much of it. So I know if I go to Gold's Venice, you know, it's going to be more pictures and more talking and, you know, so I think we want to go to the gym and just fucking have a fucking good ass workout and just get in there and fucking destroy whatever the fuck we're doing, which we haven't figured out yet <laughs> and uh, get the fuck out and eat, right? Hey, Memorial Day, we got to have a good meal. Yes. So uh, I've been on my diet for not even two weeks, it's been like almost two weeks. And I think I'm already ready for a goddamn cheat day. All right. <laughs> Yum. All I can think about is pizza. Ooh. Uh, pizza. Let's have pizza tonight. Right? What do you think? That sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> Yum. I've been dreaming about it. Yeah? Because I've been on you know keto for so long. I thought you were dreaming about me, babe. You were lying to me about that shit? No, it's... Or you are dreaming about with me and pizza? Yes. And I am... It's you, me, and pizza. You're eating Ooh. pizza and having sex at the same time? Yes. Not everything. Otherwise. Everything at the same time. It was a just. It was a threesome with me, you, and pizza. Yes, it was just, and it was very, it was very tasty. Yes, delicious. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what are we gonna train? What are you gonna train? I am going to train booty. Really, and... something different, huh? <laughs> and um, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I'm going to do some goddamn... You know what's funny, guys, is we're on kind of like the same program. She's training ass every day, and I'm training calves every day. Yeah. And so we go in the gym. She goes and does fucking half an hour ass, and I do a half an hour calves. Or she does cardio and then does ass. And then we train whatever it is we're going to train for the day. So that, doesn't even, that shit doesn't even count. Here I am with more shit that doesn't count, right? <laughs> <laughs> so... My calf workout doesn't count as part of my workout. That's just a given. That's just something I'm going to do every day for the next uh, probably three months. I mean, this this regimen, this program, program is only going to last like eight weeks. That's my my plan is to get to 248 weeks. But I'm going to keep on 
doing calves every day because I'm obsessed with getting my calves back beyond what they ever were. So I don't have to keep saying, well, I used to have real big calves. You know, back in the day. Right. <laughs> you know, I definitely don't want to fall in that category. <laughs> I met about 30 of those today at Bruce right. Beach that, you know, oh, let me show you pictures back when I used to compete. Oh. <laughs> Did you know that I was Mr. World 1952? Or... Right. <laughs> Almost 1914. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope I don't end up one of those. I hope I'm not like... I used to have very big arms. I'm like, my name is Rich Piana. You ever heard of me? <laughs> you never heard of Rich Piana? Oh, well, let me show you. Let me show you. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard of me. Let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have really, really, really big arms. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, so here we are. We're at North Hollywood. We've got our fucking parking place. Whoop. Right out front. In front. We're going to go in there and fucking kill it. Oh, yeah. You're going to kill calves. You're going to kill ass. There's Albert Beckles right there. Living motherfucking legend. Albert Beckles. Right. Yep. And he's, I, I believe he's in his 80s now. Wow. And he's still fucking, he's still fucking coming to the gym and fucking doing what he does, you know? That's what it's all about. Right. He actually judged the California. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, so, yep. Man, when I first joined this gym, he was still competing. Oh yeah. Yeah, on the pro level, he was a monster. Yeah. Fucking, I was like, holy shit. Yeah. yeah he was big as fuck. I remember he was wearing a, he was wearing a, a, a Gold's Gym sweatshirt, and his triceps were like bulging through the sweatshirt. Oh really? Yeah, he was fucking huge. Yeah, he, he was one of the rare. You know, he had the, the work ethic of the old school bodybuilders. And um, when he, the best he ever did is he got second in the Olympia one year. And that was the best he ever did. He got second. I think it was 19. I want to say it was, I want to say it was 1996, but I could be wrong. Um, but he, uh, he, I talked to him about, you know, what he did when he got ready for it. And he, he went and he lived in Europe. I can't remember where. And he lived there for six months and he trained three times a day. Jesus. And he had a place right across the street from the gym. And all he did is he'd get up in the morning and eat. He'd go to the gym and train for two hours. He'd come home, eat, take a nap for two hours. Get up, go back to the gym, eat. I'm sorry, go back to the gym, train for two hours. Come back to the place, take a nap. Then he'd get up, eat, go back to the gym. Wow. Come back, go to sleep, wake up. And so all he did basically was eat sleep and train and that was it and I'm you know I, I I I tell everyone that you know there's no such thing as overtraining if you sleep enough and eat enough to make up for it right and obviously you got to have enough time in your schedule to you know to be able to do that which we don't because right. you know we're trying to survive here which isn't easy nowadays but yeah he fucking trained three times a day that's crazy. every single day up to the show and that's how they did it back then they just fucking they, they there was no excuses there was no Oh, I can't do too much. This is too <laughs> much. I don't want to overtrain. Right. What time is it? Oh, shit. I've been training for an hour. That's, I better stop. It's you know, way too just, much. <laughs> went in there and they just fucking did it. <laughs> right. No fucking bullshit, you know? And it's just crazy how things have changed, you know? Yeah. No matter how many times I say something about there's no such thing as overtraining, there's fucking 30 people that I sit there and be like, no, that's untrue. You know, you can, you can do too much and, You'll start tearing your muscle down and not be able to. And everyone that says that is a little fucking skinny motherfucker. That I don't know how they, where they got that from. Right. That from trial and error. Duh. <laughs> damn sure. So anyway, guys, let's get in there and fucking do this shit, babe. Yep. Get that big ass booty, big motherfucking big ass fucking booty. Yeah. Right. Hell yeah. That I can barely fucking hold on to. Yes. Well, it's gonna be like a. I want it to be like a fucking roller coaster. <laughs> We're in the fucking bedroom, and I can barely hold on to that shit. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Sounds like <laughs> a plan. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, let's do it. Yep.
had a great fucking workout. Uh, I killed my calves by myself while Sarah fucking killed her glutes or her ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I think uh, glutes is the proper uh, kinesiology term, but right. I think it's okay for me to say ass when I'm talking <laughs> about Sarah. Right. So Sarah fucking killed her ass for what, about 40 minutes? Yeah. Fucking killed that shit. We didn't even fucking film it because you do it every day, right? Yeah. And I fucking killed calves for uh, probably 30 minutes, I'd say. Yeah. And um, I feel like my calves have been growing, you know, training them every fucking day. They definitely are. But as, as everyone knows, just thinking about it is we walk on our calves every single day. So, you know, if I'm, you know, weighing in the neighborhood of 300 pounds and I'm walking on my calves every day, just imagine, you know, what it's going to take to actually make my calves grow because, you know, they're constantly you know, being worked on a daily basis, you know, carrying my body weight around, walking upstairs, you know, um, you know, everything I do all day long, I'm putting that 300 pounds on my calves. So in order for my calves to actually grow, I'm going to have to train them super heavy, you know, and I think that's pretty much makes logical sense that if you go, you know, do lightweight, it's not going to do anything because your calves are used to that, you know. So for calves, you got to train them heavy, you know, and I believe that you can train them as often as possible because they're used to being worked so much. And, you know, out of every body part, calves is probably, for most people, the hardest muscle to grow and also, you know, takes the most work to make them grow. Um, Again, you know, we have genetically blessed people that, you know, they just fucking look at a calf machine and their calves grow. (laughs) So for those people out there, you know, that's awesome. But the people out there that have weak calves, it's probably one of the hardest weak muscle groups to bring up. So my advice, heavy fucking weight every fucking day, you know, start every workout off with training your calves, hitting them hard as fuck. And you guys are going to witness my calves growing. And it's funny because I see a lot of people in my Instagram and, you know, the comment section and a lot of people are saying, he doesn't make any sense. He's contradicting himself. He makes no logical sense. Yeah. Because he says he's going to lose weight and he's going to his calves are going to get bigger. That makes no sense. Okay, I guess that doesn't, <laughs> I guess that doesn't make sense. I don't know how that doesn't make sense, but okay, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Basically, I'm training him every fucking day, heavy as fuck, hard as fuck, and with a strong mentality and believing that you can make them grow and working your ass off to make them grow. Guess what, people? You can actually make them grow. <laughs> So, um, you know, the first, first, when it comes to anything in life, the first step is believing it can be done. And if you don't believe it can be done, then it can't be done and it won't be done. And, uh, you know, it's, it just shows, you know, a weak minded person that, you know, if they're thinking that I can't do something, they're definitely believing they can't do it. And, you know, you, you have to believe it can be done before you can do it. And I know that. I will make my calves 22 inches without a doubt. There is no doubt in my mind that, you know, it's not, I don't think about it like, I don't know if I can do it, but I'm going to try my hardest. You know, I'm not sure if it's possible, but I'm going to give it my best. No, I'm going to fucking bring my calves up and I'm going to have 22 inch calves in eight fucking weeks, period. (laughs) There's no, there's no question in my mind that I can't accomplish that, you know, and that's, That's the difference, you know, between I'm not saying that I'm better than anyone or I'm whatever. I'm just explaining that you have to have that mindset to achieve anything. And, you know, some people have that mindset in certain things and they lack it in other things, you know, and you need that mindset in every aspect. And when it comes to, you know, being successful, you have to believe you can be successful when it comes to anything before you can achieve it. You got to believe it. So anyway. Um, enough about that. Hopefully that's some motivation. Hopefully it'll take people to take that and, and uh, you know, learn from it and think positive about everything you're trying to achieve. Believe you can do it. Now to my fucking shake after my killer fucking workout. Oh, my 
God. So, I haven't had carbs all day. As you guys know, I call it my version of the keto diet. And my version of the keto diet is I take in carbs after I train because that's a crucial time to take carbs in. And the carbs are just being shuttled straight to my muscles. And my body is fucking dying for carbs, just dying. So as soon as those carbs go in me, right to the muscles I train. And, um, you know, it's, it's, in my opinion, it's, that's a very important part of, you know, continuing to grow, keeping the muscles full. And if I was to do 100% keto with no carbs after I train, then it, it could be counterproductive as far as my training goes, you know, somewhat. So I believe that's very important. And, um, I haven't got them yet, but I'm going to pick up some, some keto sticks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to check after I train, obviously I'm going to be in deep ketosis is my belief. And then I'm going to drink my shake, which is 40 grams of carbs, um, of, you know, sweet potatoes and oats and blueberries, 40 grams. And then I'm going to check my keto again and see if I'm still in ketosis or if I'm out of ketosis and believe it or not, I think it's possible. And I don't know. I have no idea. I've never done this before. I've never really checked hundred uh, percent. I've checked to see when I'm in ketosis, when I'm not, but I've never actually checked to see if I drink a carb drink right after I train, if I still stay in ketosis or not, if my muscles actually suck up all those carbs and I stay in ketosis, that's something I don't know. So I'm going to find that out. And it's possible, I think it's possible that, you know, if I'm so deep in ketosis and I train really hard, that I can take in 40 grams of carbs and possibly remain in ketosis. So it's, it's interesting. And this is what I, when I talk about, you know, experimenting yourself and finding out shit on your own, not reading shit on the internet or listening to so-and-so and just, you know, following whatever, you know, actually trying shit out, you know, finding, knowing there's possibly a better way and maybe doing something and then finding a better version of that, you know? And that's what I do, That's I enjoy it, I love it. I love finding and discovering things that other people have not stumbled across or thought about or discovered, or at least to my knowledge. And, you know, like I said, this diet I do is, you know, different than any any other diet that anyone else does. It's, you know, it's, and it works. I've done it in the past, so. Uh, you know, again, it's 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 a keto diet, but you take in a small amount of carbs after you train to replenish the glycogen, and then you go back to the keto diet. You know, and when I and I I eat sugar, and sugar doesn't seem to affect you know affect me whatsoever. You know, the it's similar to the uh, South Beach diet, which is it's basically Atkins or keto, but you can eat fruit, which fruit is sugar. Period. <laughs> so. Um, so anyway, so we are going to have pizza tonight. God damn it. Ooh. Are you excited, babe? Can't wait. Fucking pizza. We haven't had pizza in fucking forever. Well, not that long. Feels like forever. I think I had pizza. I don't know. I might have had it last weekend when we cheated with Paulo after a show. I don't remember. No, I didn't, huh? No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't have pizza. I don't know. It hasn't been that long. What exit is this? I just fucking... Here. Okay. Um... Yeah, so we're going to have pizza. Ooh. So we're going to go to the fucking grocery store right now and get some goddamn ice cream. Yeah. Right? So we have ice cream after the pizza. Right. We're probably going to order Domino's because yep. I hate to I hate to say it, but Domino's is actually pretty it's, fucking good. I know. It's really We've good. We've like tried other places and I hate to say it, but it, Domino's is really good. Domino's is fucking pretty fucking good, man. Yeah. And, you know, we have a lot of pretty popular pizza places here mm-hmm. and I have to say Domino's is fucking up there man I don't I can't say that there's places you know probably one of the most popular places here to eat pizza is uh fuck now I'm gonna forget the goddamn name now that I'm talking about it oh what the fuck I'm more no uh Z pizza you know a Z pizza is somewhat you know Amore is is really good you know they they uh bring, uh, you know, the flour and water or whatever from New York. And, oh, yeah. I mean, they, they, they're they they're known to have very healthy ingredients and, you know, really good quality ingredients. And their pizzas are really 
They are good, but fuck, man, I'm telling you, Domino's is really good. It's hard to beat. They are the shit. But um, I'm trying to think of the place on Ventura Boulevard that's really popular. It's like, it's actually been in the, like one of the top pizza places. Have I tried it? Yeah, I think you have. Really? I can't remember the fucking name of it. Ah, oh, it starts with an M. It's across the street from Midori Sushi. Uh, Milan? <laughs> you just guessing? Just yeah. Names. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it! Anyone out there? I know there's someone out there watching this, going, "Oh, oh!" and they know the name of it. Right. Mulberry. Okay, I would have. Mulberry. I Mulberry have, pizza. Yeah. I would have never guessed that shit. Yeah, that's probably <laughs> one of the most. That's probably people, Mulberry. I think a lot of people consider that the number one pizza place. That's in a LA. weird name. Yeah, Mulberry Pizza, and wow. it's uh, there's there's a couple of them, but yeah, it's kind of like New York Pizza. You walk in and they have like. 20 different pizzas already made, made and you can like pick slices oh yeah you know and so you know it's kind of a, a cool place to go I've never been there pick out you know 12 different pieces of pizza you know all different and bring them home you know and sit there yeah. 12 different you know that's what's kind of cool about it yeah, but we need to try that I'm saying, man, I it's know not good some people would think I fucking lost my mind to say Domino's is better but man, Domino's is really the good the way I get it made see the way I get my Domino's pizzas, I don't just order Domino's pizza. Like, I get double everything. And mine, that makes a big difference. Mine is better, though. <laughs> <laughs> she gets the opposite. She gets fucking a little bit of everything. She gets just a little bit. Yeah. Like, light sauce, light this. Light, I get fucking extra this, extra that. <laughs> so, but, yeah, so it's going to be fucking pizza and ice cream. So we're going to hit the store, get yeah. some fucking ice cream. We're going to hit Vaughn's because that's, like, the only place that carries her Cinnabons. I already know yeah. that that's what she wants. <laughs> Yum. So, uh, yeah, I weigh, I weigh myself today and, um, I'm like 286 is where I'm at. So I'm steadily dropping like Ooh. daily. So I was at, I was at 311 when I started and that was, that was about, I'm thinking it was about two and a half weeks ago. Yeah. It was before I went to Body and Power. Yeah. Or before I went to Body and Power. Yeah. <laughs> so that was about two and a half weeks ago. So... Let me see. What I say to so let me see. That's fourteen and 11, 24. That's twenty five pounds. Wow. So I lost like twenty five pounds two weeks, two and a half weeks. in two and a half weeks. So that's pretty fucking crazy. Yeah. So, but the thing is, is when you're eating as much carbs as I was eating, mm-hmm. you're retaining a lot of water weight, a yeah. lot of water in the muscle. Right. This. And right. so a lot of that was water. You know, probably good 12 at least 12 pounds that was water and a lot of it's mm. water in the muscle right you know so my muscles are flat right now flat as fuck and I hate it huh. you know I feel like I'm deflated you know because my muscles are flat you know <laughs> but the actual muscle tissue is the same you know I didn't lose any muscle tissue just lost water so obviously I could I could eat carbs for three or four days and I could blow back up to probably 300 pounds right you know but um it's just part of the process. So, Next level should we run in here and get ice cream? Yes. Right here? Yes. But, but we got to, babe, seriously, we got to make okay. it quick. Yeah. So we're not going to do a whole grocery shopping. We're just going to run in and get the fucking ice cream in your creamer. That's it. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. You swear? Yes. Okay. Because you've never, ever. No, I have. Today, I have. Ever kept your word on this one. I have. As soon as we go in the store. God damn it, babe. It's like fucking shop, grocery shopping time. Babes. What, baby? Babes. I just do my usual. Yeah. Oh, there's a bum right there. He's gonna fucking oh. spit on my car. Or some right. Shit. Yeah. God damn it. Fuckers. <laughs> Beat his ass and I get in trouble. <laughs> okay, let's do this shit. Hey, hey. Yeah, hey, God damn it. <laughs> okay. okay. Ice cream, ice cream and creamer. And the creamer, yes, and coffee. No, coffee wasn't part of the deal. But coffee is right here. I don't have any more coffee. For my creamer. Okay, where's the coffee? Uh, where is it? I don't know. Oh, it's here. I'll run. Okay. Running, running, running. God damn it, I'm also hurry. I'm also hurry doing the bags. We do need bags, set blocks. Just gotta act with you know God. God damn it, guys. You know? 
Okay, so coffee. Of course, Keep the wrong fucking aisle with no coffee. Jesus, is the coffee here? Maybe? You know? Or not? <sighs> coffee? Coffee, baby? Nope. God damn it. God damn it, guys. No coffee? Coffee here, maybe? Yeah! Ah, oh, shit. Cake? Stuff? No coffee? Where's the coffee? God damn it. Here is the coffee. Ugh, or not. Here's the coffee. Okay, no. Wine. Not really. Coffee? 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 Ah! <laughs> I barely recognize you. <laughs> Wait, I love that hat on you. Oh my god, you look awesome. <laughs> okay, so I would love. Oh, my cinnamon bun! Cinnamon buns! Woohoo! <laughs> Maybe a little bit more, just so I have enough for like the next year. Woo! And cinnamon, no, peanut butter. <laughs> One more. Hey, are you serious? That's like 12 ice cream? Yeah. Yay! Woo -hoo. Okay, do you want me to go and get the, the creamer? Yeah, yeah, it's rich. Okay, I'm running. Yeah. Running and fighting. Coffee. Do you happen to know where the coffee is? Oh. I'm trying to find it. Probably over there. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Let me see. No. Okay, what am I looking for? I always gotta find something. <laughs> oh, creamer is here. Yay! I'm gonna get big gas creamer, guys. Let me see. French vanilla. <laughs> yeah. French vanilla. So good. Fucking love it. Yum, yum, yum. Oh my god, you can get a chocolate chip, cookie, creamer. That's dangerous. <gasps> That's dangerous, guys. Ooh. Let me see. Cinnamon vanilla cream. Oh my god. That's just. Cinnamon vanilla cream. That's just dangerous stuff. Okay, the coffee. Where the fuck is the coffee? Um. Find something. Oh, shit. Mm. That's like a perfect color of a book. Hey, a pink one. God damn it. Too much shit. Where is the coffee? Here it is. Right? Oh. Finally, I found the coffee, guys. Friends from the Oh my god, I'm holding so much stuff. I can't even, you know. I gotta have this right here. So now, okay, like that. Put this here. 
so much shit, guys. It's just way too much. And maybe I'll just get two so I don't have to always fight. Or one, you know. Yeah, I got it all. Where are you? There you are. I was looking everywhere for the coffee. Could not find it. Oh my god. So I just want two of these. Ooh. So we already did this? Yes. Okay. And I was like, here, I don't know. No, I'm just saying that I, uh, you know. Yeah. So I, uh. I'm touching your coffee. What? Touching your coffee. Uh, I don't remember it. Oh, yeah. oh, sure. Thank you. Thank you. So, to uh, connect, like, the phone number and stuff. You have to call the number of the barber. Yeah. Oh, did you Did you? Yeah. Okay. So, uh... Oh, the bad of the receipt? Yeah, there's a number you call, the phone number is not so you use a card. Oh, okay, yeah, no, yeah. Uh, I was just wondering how I could do the, um, you know, connect the phone number so I don't always have to have it. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Oh, okay. Cool. Also, thank you so much. Is this ours or no? Yeah, so the car the was like on the other side. The car was never gonna find it. Ah. Whew. Do you have the keys? No. Probably in your pocket, right? Yeah. All right. Woo. Got the ice cream. Yep. Sarah got her coffee, and of course, she fucking did grocery shopping and bought a bunch of other shit because it was all on the that's way. That's what Sarah does. <laughs> she can't stick to her fucking word. Babe, it was right next to each other. <laughs> then it took forever to find the goddamn coffee. It was like on the other end of the goddamn store. No, because I was at the fucking register waiting. I'm sorry, baby. Waiting with people that I don't. Want to sit and talk to? Oh, babes, <laughs> babes, babes. Woo! And look at how many fucking ice creams we bought. Woo! Jesus Christ. So this is a fucking new one. Check this out: vanilla tangerine and shortbread. Yum! Fucking Hagen Dazs. So. I don't know about you guys. Remember those fifty-fifty bars that were the fucking tangerine and vanilla? That shit was good as fuck. So hopefully, it's like that with pieces of shortbread. So yeah, that sounds good as fuck. Her damn cinnabons. Her yeah, cup. I've never had this orchard peach sorbet. Peach is one of my favorites, so that sounds really good. Right. Banana split. I haven't had this forever. It's really good. Mm -hmm. My favorite white chocolate raspberry truffle is my Ooh. favorite ice cream right now. Right. S'mores is one of my favorite Ben and Jerry's. I've never tried the mint chip Hagen Dazs, so I'm curious on that one. Yeah. And more Cinnabons. She has a shitload of fucking Cinnabons. <laughs> I, I bought myself the red velvet cake, which is crazy because I don't really like red velvet cake. Red velvet really, is good, it though. It doesn't do anything for me, but I saw it and I was like, fuck, I don't know why. I just wanted it. So mm -hmm. I got it. God damn it. Yeah. So look at our refrigerator. It's pretty fucking bare. And look at this shit. Oh, yeah, my water. I forgot <laughs> it. <laughs> I forgot it, babe. Frozen fucking water. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. I forgot it earlier. <laughs> Whoopsie. So, we're going to have a fucking fridge full of fucking ice cream. Yeah. And meals. Hell yeah. And uh, we just fed the dogs. The dogs, like I said, they eat the fucking meals. Try yeah. Two meals a day. 
and her dogs split a meal. Yes. So three meals a day goes to our fucking dogs. <laughs> so they are they are on a diet. Come. Uh, it's crazy, is you know, <laughs> yeah, it's fucking awesome. Can't beat that shit. Right. And they are loving so, the meals. Yeah. So the meals for our dogs are already cooked too. <laughs> we just fucking microwave them and right. Yep, and that's it. So there we go. Domino's, God damn it! Pizza. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> we talked about it earlier, and then once we got, once you get that shit in your head, I know, right? It's fucking there. That seed grows into a goddamn oak tree. Yeah. And <laughs> you almost gotta. Oh yeah. Yeah, I like to place the order, actually in delivery. Um. Yep. Eight one eight. Yep, that's it. No, I'm gonna try something different. Um, let me get a large uh, thin crust pepperoni mushroom with extra cheese, extra sauce, and I also want um, extra pepperoni and extra mushroom on that. So uh, if you could do double toppings or you know close to double toppings, that'd be awesome. And I'll just, I'll pay whatever, you know, whatever it costs. I know it's a lot extra. And then um, can I also get a, you guys have a pizza, like a combination or that has everything on it? Yeah. Uh, can I get one of those large thin crusts uh, with extra cheese, extra sauce? And what do you want, babe? You want a- Pepperoni. Pe uh, what size? Large. Large. With a uh, um, very, very light sauce. And regular cheese and pepperoni? Yes. Can I get a large, uh, regular crust, um, just pepperoni pizza with very, very light sauce, like hardly any sauce? Uh, yeah, pepperoni. And yeah, that's it. And how long will that be? How long will it be? Okay. Uh, yep. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. All right. Bye-bye. Whoa! Yay! Yeah! It is goddamn pizza time! So, I always get, I always gotta get double the toppings whenever I get pizza because there's never enough toppings. Mm -hmm. uh, never, never enough. Especially Domino's, they'd be fucking chintzing on the toppings. <laughs> right? Yeah, so you gotta get fucking double everything. Oh yeah, the motherfucking pizza's here, goddammit. Let's take a look at this shit. Oh, that's fucking Sarah's ain't shit. No, hey. Get that shit out of here. Oh, <laughs> damn it. That's some boring ass shit. No. All right, check out my shit. God damn it. No. Woo! Pepperoni, mushroom, extra pepperoni, extra mushroom, extra cheese, extra sauce. Yeah. That's a goddamn pizza with thin motherfucking crust. Mine is good that's too. what I'm talking about. That's a motherfucking pizza. And my second fucking large pizza is the combination that has every fucking thing on it with extra cheese and extra fucking sauce and thin fucking crust. The crust is like a goddamn cracker. <laughs> it's like eating a fucking cracker pizza, but hey, I like that shit. So I'm ready to get my fucking grub on and Sarah is fucking already, look at this shit. She's already fucking eating without me. What the fuck? <laughs> Time to dig in. Look at this little motherfucking corner piece. <laughs> I got some fucking quick ass mother fucking pizza. Oh my god. So good. Yum. Right. Diet, goddamn Dr. Pepper. Woo. Woo